Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome to our channel. My name is Sam. My name is Ryan. And we are back to talk about the Wicked movie again. I will do as many videos on this topic as we need to. And uh, you might see more because this movie's not coming out until 2024 and 2025. I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah. We got major Wicked movie casting announcements in the last week or so. And so we wanted to hop on and chat about our thoughts on them. This coming off of a very unsuccessful attempt at predicting the casting news yes. some odd <laughs> year and a half ago. Wild. Wild. Right? Or was it even longer? I mean, at we, least You know a year what's crazy? We have this information. We do. We can just go we into our little creator studio here and see what this information is. Two years ago. <gasps> the Dreamcast video? Wow. Two years ago. That is wild. This movie has been in the works for a very long time. Longer than two years, even. And this is crazy. One year ago, we reacted to the first Wicked official casting of Ariana yeah. Grande and Cynthia Revo. So that was a year ago. A so a year ago. ago, they cast the witches. And then I feel like a month or two ago, they said that Jonathan Bailey would be Fierro. Mm -hmm. And then it all just kind of popped off since then. It has popped off. So we have received word. The Sam and Ryan Empire specifically, we received word. Breaking John Chu news. DM'd me yep, and was like, hey, right. Sam, you guys can be the first to break this news. He DM'd you? Yeah. Oh, crazy. He actually came over here and just sort of told me oh, just face to face while wow. you're at work. Well, yeah. I mean, we, we couldn't get together. So that mm, that doesn't yeah. surprise you're me. You're both busy and We're professionals. We're so busy in yeah. the same way. So yeah, I mean, you probably already know this, but we kind of have like a full list of what this is all going to look like. So Basically. here we go. So if we Google the Wicked cast, first of all, I am still playing <laughs> Fierro and Jonathan Bailey is just unnamed. It's just there. Jonathan Bailey's playing himself. <laughs> this, is, this honestly kind of feels like bullying at this point to yeah. both of us and so so much misinformation here because jesse jp johnson katie rose clark and jessica vosk are not in this movie yeah. and nor am i but, but cynthia revo is alphaba ariana grande is glinda we knew that already jonathan bailey has been cast as fiero i think that's going to be stellar yeah jeff goldblum has been cast as the wizard i think that's a great choice i do too so far batting zero for our prediction we we predicted ariana grande would be in it but we thought she'd be alphaba and she's gonna be glinda yeah which i think is the better choice there jonathan remains to be seen yeah, that I mean, that is true. We don't know yet. Jonathan Bailey for Fierro, I think, is a really good choice. Apparently, he has, like, West End theatrical experience. And, obviously, Bridgerton was a massive success, specifically season two. So, that makes a lot of sense. Jeff Goldblum, I'm really excited to see. He's very eccentric. He definitely gives off, like magical wizard who's kind of a scam artist. <laughs> Spoilers! Oh Sam. no, I'm so sorry! <laughs> so the rest of this is wrong. Google just doing great with the misinformation. Madam Morrible is one that I did not see coming, but I am stoked about. Michelle Yeoh from Everything Everywhere All at Once is going to be playing Madam Morrible. So this is a movie I still haven't seen, but like no one will shut up about her. Yeah. Like well, everyone's like Oscar, best yep. performance of the year. Yep. Now she's going to be Morrible. We it's, love to see it. A yeah. queen career. Well, because she was also in Crazy Rich Asians. She was basically like the villain. She was like the, the guy's mom in Crazy Rich Asians who she does the, the game. Yes! That's She's her. So fierce. She's so oh good. Oh my god! Wait, and I how did I not put that together? I don't know. Everyone's been talking about her yeah. in Everywhere Everything all the all the time, <laughs> and I haven't seen that movie yet. But no one was like, "Oh well, she was in other notable works you may have seen." I don't, I don't know. But I mean, she's worked with John Chu before, right. which is great because right. he, he directed Crazy Rich Asians. So I'm very excited to see that come together. She's so talented. I want her to win every award ever. But the news doesn't stop there. You can not. see here on this Playbill article, West End Company Olivier winner and Bridgerton star Jonathan Bailey will be Fierro. SpongeBob SquarePants star Ethan Slater was yes. recently announced as the film's Bach. Yes, and this is one that I will say the internet was loud and proud about. I think this the second this movie was in the Twitter and internet sphere again, especially after Cynthia and Ariana getting cast, I feel like every single thought I saw 
was, oh my gosh, Ethan Slater should be Bach because of the success of SpongeBob the Musical. SpongeBob SquarePants, Bach, exact same character. It, 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 it makes total sense. It makes a lot of sense. I'm being fully facetious. Oh, they could not be more di- different. Well, character-wise, they're different, but I, very. as someone who could play SpongeBob, I'm like, you could play Bach. Oh, no, absolutely. It's it's a, it's it's great casting. Yeah. I'm just, I'm sort of gagged. I don't know. I like <laughs> Ethan Slater is tremendously talented. This yeah. is a brilliant pick. Yeah. I'm sort of gagged because I feel like the internet was like, who can sing in his short? Ethan Slater. That is true. That <laughs> like, does happen a lot. Like yeah. who, who, yeah, who is famously shorter and can sing and is hot right now? Ethan Slater. So that's kind of our leading core of yeah. players in this movie, but we've fleshed out even more. Come on, John. Filming TV news with Playbill. This came out on December 9th. Mm-hmm. Kiala Settle. Is that mm-hmm. how you say her name? I think so. Uh, from Greatest Showman fame. Yes. Bowen Yang. <laughs> from SNL. And also, it says here, newcomer Marissa Bode will make history as the first wheelchair-using actor in the musical's history to play Nessa Rose, a character that also uses a wheelchair. This is a brilliant move because with movie magic, you can do what you need to do. Sure. Obviously, you can't have a wheelchair chair user play this role on stage because Mm -hmm. on stage the actress literally gets up and walks Mm -hmm. but with movie magic you can do this so since you can do it you might as well do the inclusion thing here which is great so the remainder of this round of casting are for roles that appear largely to be new for the musical's film version settle will play miss coddle with carmichael colin michael carmichael taking on Professor Nicodick. So that that character actually is in the musical. That name sounds familiar. Yeah, that's that's the that's the professor who comes in and teaches everyone about cages. We have this great <gasps> yes, new technology. Yes, the scary one. Yeah. yeah. Well, what about Miss Coddle? Is she new? She uh, doesn't sound familiar. Okay, so this is embarrassing. I was literally in the Broadway musical and I don't recognize the name Miss Coddle. So okay. maybe she's in the Broadway musical, maybe she's in the book. Yeah, maybe, maybe. she's in both and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> but I can tell you this much in the musical Miss Coddle and Fierro never interact. <laughs> Bowen Yang, uh, Bronwyn James, and Aaron Teo will play Shiz students Fanay, Shen Shen, and Averick, respectively. Okay, so this is very funny. Playbill just didn't quite stick the landing here. Casting for roles that appear largely to be new for the musical's film version. Shen Shen and Averick are absolutely in the musical. Averick is the one who bikes Firo on in the beginning. It's sort of Firo's one friend. And Shen Shen is one of like Galinda's <laughs> lackeys. Uh, yeah. Fane, uh has a big part in the book. I don't know if that's like a named ensemble role in the musical that I just missed in my time there, but Fane does have a... a a sort of role in the book. Fanny is like from Munchkin land mm. and like doesn't see Alphaba's legitimacy as like heir to the Munchkin land governorship because she's green. I don't know if you know this okay, about this Wicked, book stuff. but there's a lot of prejudice about Alphaba being green. Yes, it really yeah. bothers the I people do. of Oz. I Spoilers do. for the movie. That's, that's just something to come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People don't like that. She's green. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if Fanny, is that how you say it? Fanny, I think. Fanny is also just in the movie because Galinda has kind of two gal pals Shen that Shen follow her around right shen shen and and Mi- milla she is close friends with shen shen and milla i don't know there's all kinds of b- in this well, show there are gonna be so many like students of oz that have oz that's embarrassing students of shiz that have so many weird names that is true like so yeah it's kind of like naming the who's it's like all right there's gonna be a lot of weird names in this town because they're mythical creatures who you know run around and celebrate christmas this isn't a christmas movie i don't know what i'm talking about if you are a big like wicked book person and you recognize any of those names let us know in the comments down below because i would assume that they are gonna dive into the lore of the books just a teeny teeny bit well they have to they have two movies to make exactly so there's a lot more lore to build I love that they're rounding this out with a whole bunch of new characters with funny names. I would love to throw my hat in the ring to play (laughs) Kuschlerkenklerken. 
um, you know, one of Galinda's friends at the school. So, uh, John Chu, as we've previously discussed, we're close. <laughs> yeah. We're close. We're and all friends here. Google does say I'm in it. It says I'm playing Fiera, but we can just change that to Kachambrakanklam. <laughs> and, you know, that's just like a little bit of code. It's going to be an easy switch. I'm already in there. Easy, easy fix. This is all really exciting for me, though. I'm really excited for this movie or these movies since, again, we are getting a part one and a part two. And they did announce that they started filming like last week or so. So it's officially in the works. Obviously, movies take forever to make. But needless to say, all of this casting announcement news makes me very excited. Yeah, if I can just be like totally opaque here. Yeah. The reason that I'm the most excited about all this is because it means it's finally happening. Yes. They have been talking. I mean, even just looking at the fact that we reacted to the news of Ariana and Cynthia a year ago, and now we're getting the rest of the cast. It's like, okay, finally. I don't know what the holdup is. The fact that they're being precious, I do think portends a positive outcome for this franchise. On the flip side of that, if you're too precious about something, then it either never happens or it's so squeaky clean, it's void of any emotion. So I'm glad that like the ball is rolling mm -hmm. and the movie is on its way. What we're learning from this is a lot of creative things are happening, a lot of smart things are happening with the casting and also with the storytelling because we're hearing about characters that we uh, maybe don't know as well or at all from the musical. So that means we're gonna get some more fleshed out stuff, which could be a great thing. So, you know, Boom, it's happening. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, kickball change, kickball daddies. Kickball change, splits, <laughs> bot ma, pirouette, <laughs> pot de beret. Wow, we're going to see it. We're going to see it all in this movie. <laughs> I hope so. Girl, bring oh, the, the choreo. I mean, come out. on. We saw Candy. what John Chu did with In the Heights. Yes, I, John Chu. He choreographer was the, he was of the, the choreographer, Heights. but he, he was, was the so director. Good at come on. That movie, all those dance moves that John Chu came up <laughs> with was so good. No, but he shot them well. He shot so, them so well. I, girl, I can't. I just like it's if, gonna be if great. This is the In the Heights equivalent of Wicked. I'll be so happy. It'll be perfect. That's all I want. In the Heights was I'm literally excited. perfect. It was I so can't, good. Like just John, 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 come on. We know you're watching. Don't let us down, Johnny you got boy. Two steps, two step process. Ready? Make me crunchunk and lunk and chunk, <laughs> and then just make, just do everything you did within the Heights. But with you know what, if you need Lin Manuel Miranda to just walk through Shiz selling ice cream, go for it, <laughs> go for it. It's fine. Whatever we need to do, whatever that magic, you know, je ne sais quoi was, <laughs> let's make it happen, boo. Let's do it. As always, we want to know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on this casting? How excited are you for the movie? What do you want to see in the movie? All the good stuff. Let us know in the comments and. Be sure, Be sure to, to like, like and, and subscribe, subscribe, and we will see you all later. Bye, Father. Bye.